This video's aim is to help if you are suffering with tenosynovitis of the wrist flexors. Tenosynovitis is inflammation of the lining of the sheath that surrounds a tendon called the synovium. The synovium is a lining of protective sheath that covers the tendons. Causes Infection if cut into the sheath Trauma, one-off event or overload Overuse, progressive overload over time which is the most common cause. It can happen to any tendon sheath in the body, but is common in the wrist, hands, feet and ankles. The wrist flexors are on the palm side of the wrist and for overuse can be caused by repetitive gripping, typing, lifting, etc. Here is the anatomy of the area. You should try to avoid activities that irritate the area and increase your pain. You should apply ice in a damp tea towel for 15 minutes every 2 hours to the area. Anti-inflammatories can also help. You need to stretch the wrist and forearm. Extension With your elbow straight and your hand palm facing up, extend your wrist so that your fingers point towards the floor. Use your opposite hand to apply extra stretch. Hold for 30 seconds and repeat three times a day. Flexion. With your elbow straight and your hand palm facing down, bend your wrist so that your fingers point towards the floor. Use your opposite hand to apply extra stretch. Hold for 30 seconds and repeat three times a day. Once you are settling down, then you need to strengthen the area gradually. To start, you should perform the exercise with no weight and it needs to be pain-free during and afterwards. Once you're able, you need to add light weight and advance as able to heavier weight. Wrist flexor strengthening. Holding a light weight in your hand with your forearm resting on a table and your hand palm side up, slowly lower the dumbbell down towards the floor and then lift it back up towards the ceiling. The forearm shouldn't move at all throughout and it should be pain free. Repeat eight times and swap arms if needed. As you get stronger, you must advance the resistance level gradually, but you can only advance if it is pain free to do so. If you get worsening symptoms or are unsure, then initially reduce the push into discomfort and if this isn't enough, then stop altogether and consult your physiotherapist. In some cases, a steroid injection can help and in rare cases, surgery. This can be a slow healing problem and modification of work or hobbies may be needed to help clear and minimize the risk of reoccurrence. After several weeks, you should hopefully notice increased flexibility and possibly reduce pain generally. Remember, injuries take time to recover and do so gradually, so be patient, there are no miracle cures.